back. It's a stoika. Whoa, this thing's going off. <laughs> just come across this random little rock crop sort of in the middle between the fringing reefs and the shore and I saw some little floating dark spots and I was like that surely that can't be squid so we threw twice at it we've already caught two <laughs> now I'm gonna have a go and see if we can get another one Perfect. that is right on the money ready Go, here we go, <laughs> like that. This is how easy squid are. Once you find them, you're almost guaranteed to hook up. So you wanna make sure when you're reeling them in that you're doing a light reel and your drag is really loose. At the end of the day, they're only holding on with basically one tentacle, so that could pull off pretty easy. Wait, if you get inked, I'm gonna laugh so hard. Oh, Did you get inked? I didn't <laughs> get inked, but... <laughs> This is what we got. So what I normally do to put these guys out really quickly is give them a good strangle. We can push them behind the head. I just strangle them really tight until they go white. Like that. And then a good head knock. Because it looks like the head's still alive. Like that. That out right there is how easy it is to catch a squid once you find them. Baby. We're on to this spot here. It's a big coral rocky patch that's among like a big weed patch. So we're literally sight casting squid right now. So the downfall with these little squid is that they're trying to camouflage into this, this reefy rock bed. But because of all the sand, you can actually see them and they stand out quite a lot. So when they think they're come out on the reef, we can see them clear as day. Oh, watch out for Carl. <laughs> what? I'm good. Unfortunately with these squid, there is a little bit of a bycatch when we do get the cuttlefish. Just want to get him free. Now we've never caught one of these before, so what we'll do is we'll just get him close and just un unhook him. Does he shoot me? Uh, possibly. Oh fuck. <laughs> okay, he's good. At least that was a dink. Ready? Come on, Squidly. Three, two, one. Ah, yeah. Are you on? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. You can tell it's a squid because it's doing a little whoop, yep. whoop, whoop. Then you start seeing the ink. There's a squid to add to the bucket. Whew. We came out here actually to go for a spearfish and we stumbled across this little rocky outcrop and we actually spotted a few squidlies on top. So we've had a few casts, scored a few squid. Uh, we're gonna call it quits because we really need to get in the water because look how bloody good this place looks. So sit tight, let's jump in and see what we can see. I'll take you into Carl's kitchen, see what we got going on tonight, hey? Calamari, got corn flour and, and normal flour, same amount each one, and a little bit of garlic powder, and salt and pepper, obviously salt and pepper calamari. And over here we've got our snapper, we just got a little bit of beer batter going on here. How good is this? Look at that. This is our kitchen view. Oh, how good is that? 
Yes! So you got to watch out for these. These hold a lot of water inside them. And they pop. Poppy pop, 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 poppy popcorn. Bloody popping oil and it's super gnarly. So be super careful when we do this one. You'll, you'll see. And then, get that lid on there. That one's going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> these are my favourite. They're that good. Look at these things. That doesn't look amazing. If you don't think that looks amazing, something is wrong with you. Look at that. It's like the sun. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolute beautiful. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. Is that not perfection? What do you reckon, Mom? If you haven't done beer batter this way before, or a fish this way before, I would recommend plain flour and beer. It is amazing. Almost as good as this calamari. Look at that. What the hell, guys? What the hell? Bottoms up, Momo. It has been one cracker of a day. Even though the session was only for two hours, we got squid, we got snapper, we got goatfish. We had a really good day today. And to top it off, we've got this amazing sunset. Thank you for joining the journey today. It's been a cracker of a day like every other day on this coastline. So hit the like button, subscribe, do what you need to do. If you want to keep watching what we do, living the dream guys, living the dream.